What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. By now, everybody has seen uh, Bill Haney and Floyd Mayweather Jr. talking on like live or was it Instagram Live or something like that? Was it Instagram Live, FaceTime? Instagram Live. They going back and forth with each other. Bill Haney is snapping, cussing Floyd out. You know, Bill got the reference in some street stuff and how he in the streets and Floyd Mayweather talking about he ain't in the streets, all of that. And, and Bill talking about he in the streets and he's like inciting street shit when he talking to Floyd, which I did not like. And a lot of people don't like, right? And they call him Bill out. Bill out is a hypocrite. How you going to be a, fi a family man and a father, but you call you talking about street shit with another grown man. That's setting a bad example for your son. It looks foolish to be a grown man talking about getting to the streets and all of that, which I agree, right? Which I agree. Um, however, you know, it's a lot of things going on with Bill right now. Bill, his son just took a loss. He's facing a lot of scrutiny from a lot of people in a lot of directions, right? Um, he's hearing some of the talk, even some of the talk that I've, I, I've said. I think that um, Bill has done as much as he could with Devin. Considering that Bill has never been in a ring before, I think Bill needs to be in his corner. But I believe that um, Devin Haney needs another lead trainer. I do. Somebody that has experience training world-class fighters. I honestly believe that he should go to the Kronk Gym. The change of style, his approach, everything. I watched what the Kronk Gym did with Tyson Fury, who was not a power puncher. He's a big guy, but not a power puncher. How they changed his style and made him more aggressive. Um, made him go for the kill. Now, Devin is not going to be a, a power puncher overnight. He's not. Punchers are born, not made. That's what Teddy Atlas says and a lot of other people. But um, they can change his approach on things. Also improve his defense, his defensive responsibility. You know what I mean? Um, so he's Bill is hearing these type of talks about him not being head trainer anymore. And I think it's pissing him off. It's frustrating him. He see his son. Took a L and he's seeing everybody criticizing his boy. And I, he takes that personal as, you know, a father would, right? Also, Bill lost his mother, I believe, not too long ago. So you got all these different things and all these different emotions and people cl people clowning you on social media. Your a lot of some people's first reaction is to to lash out. To lash out. Um to save face, you know what I mean? To 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 protect your boy, but also to lash out. Especially as somebody like Floyd Mayweather, who never gets on IG Live after fights are over. But for some reason, magically, Floyd Mayweather magically appears on IG Live discussing a fight. Talking to Zab Judah, uh, Devin Haney's godfather, Zab Judah. Talking to Zab about the fight and talking to this person and that person. Uh, giving analysis of a fight. Floyd Mayweather never does that. He never does it. You know? So Bill looking like, hold on, after my son lose, now you on IG Live doing all that? He was pissed. Now, Bill couldn't articulate his reasonings for why he was mad at Floyd Mayweather Jr. Here's what I believe, right? Now, again, I can't speak for the man, but this is what I believe it is. So, y'all know uh, Devin Haney started out in the gym with Floyd Mayweather Sr., right? Big Floyd taught Devin a lot of great stuff. You know, and that's why I say I think um, Bill needs to take a step back and let somebody else be lead trainer because I don't think that I don't think Bill has taught Dev a lot more than what Big Floyd taught him. Devin has just matured and grew into a man body, and you know he's gotten bigger. But I don't think he's really taught him that much more than Big Floyd did. So I think somebody else that has some experience training world class fighters should come in, right? Anyway. He was in the gym for years with Big Floyd. After a while, Devin, Bill Haney took over. They stepped away from Big Floyd. They went out on their own. But you know, uh, Devin Haney grew up in the Mayweather gym, right? So I don't know if Big Floyd, if, if Floyd Jr. felt the way about Deb leaving Big Floyd or what. I don't know. I don't know who would happen. But leading up to the build up of this fight, we come to find out. That Floyd Mayweather Jr. tries to stop this fight from happening. He tries to deter Ryan to go somewhere else for another fight. Don't fight. He told Devin, he told Ryan Garcia, according to Ryan Garcia, don't fight Devin Haney. He told him, don't do it. We've seen Floyd working out with uh Ryan Garcia, 
They, they running together. He hanging out with Floyd, all of that. So I believe Floyd Jr. did tell Ryan Garcia, don't fight Devin Haney. He tried to, he tried to sabotage the fight. Now, I know a lot of y'all might be like, well, Floyd was actually looking out for the young boy's best interest. He was looking out for him. He probably could see what was going to happen. No, that's not right. That's not why. I don't think Floyd Mayweather thought Devin Haney was going to lose against Ryan Garcia. I don't think he thought it at all. Because Ryan, I'm, I'm telling y'all, Ryan did not show no new type of skill. He probably was more patient. But it was the same Ryan Garcia for real that back that damn, I don't know, that, that Philly Shell, that terrible Philly Shell turning your back to the opponent shit. He was just more of a power puncher, and Devin Haney couldn't stay out of the way of it. He could crack. He, he knew Devin couldn't hurt him at all, so he didn't give a fuck about what Devin was throwing. And he was more patient. And, yeah, Devin couldn't stay out of the way of his punches. That's the only thing that was different. He was the power puncher. He was devastating. Ryan, and Devin couldn't ha handle the power. Ryan didn't show no new skills and no new wrinkles. So I don't think Floyd Mayweather thought Ryan was going to win. I think it was about this. Hey, don't fight Devin Haney. Come fight Roley. Come fight a PBC guy. You know, Floyd. I, I do believe Floyd was bankrolling PBC for a while. Probably might, might be still is, right? Al Heyman, he called Al Heyman like a father to him. So he like, come fight a PBC guy. Roley Romero. Come fight. I think he wanted him to fight Roley. Don't fight Devin Haney. Come bring that money over here with us to PBC. And, and Devin Haney said, what the fuck? You trying to take away a big fight from me, bro? You trying to take away a big fight where I can make some money away from me, dog? You trying to undermine me? That Haney saw that and said, yo, what the hell? That's some bullshit. How could you do? Why are you doing that, right? Why are you trying to take this fight from under, underneath us? If I'm supposed to be your little homie, your little man's, you trying to take this whole big moment away from me. Now, again, and everybody can play armchair, quarterback, whatever, Sunday morning quarterback, whatever. Nobody saw, nobody, a lot of people, not nobody. I'm not going to say nobody. Majority of the people did not think that Ryan Garcia was going to beat Devin Haney. And I don't think Floyd thought that either. He just didn't want that big money fight going over there. He wanted their fight coming to the PBC. So after the fight, we find out Ryan Garcia says, Hey, Floyd told me to come in big like this. Floyd told me to come in overweight like that. He told me to come in big. So, huh, wait a second. Okay, I'm from the Haney's. Okay, you, you didn't want to. You tried to sabotage the fight from happening. Huh. Then you told him to come in big like that. Well, okay, cool. He came in big. The Haney's accepted that. They accepted it. They took the money. They accepted it. Okay, that's on them. But it's like, huh, you over there with him. You giving him counsel. What the fuck? Were you trying to go against me the whole time because the fight didn't go, the fight didn't get stopped because Ryan Garcia didn't, he ended up not listening to Floyd and still went over there to go fight um, Devin because he, because Ryan had already told the public Devin Haney was his next fight after it was a poll that he put up about who he should fight next and the fans picked Ryan Gar I mean, the fans picked Devin Haney. So he's like, I can't go against that. I told the fans I'm going to fight Devin. You know what I mean? Even though Floyd say not to do that. So all these things. Floyd trying to sabotage the fight, telling Ryan Garcia to come in heavy. Then, after the fight, you know, you on Instagram live discussing the fight now, giving analysis. Like, what the fuck were you waiting for? Like, were, were you ready for my son to lose? To criticize it and shit? You know what I mean? What, what, what's going on? Because Bill and them were, and Bill and Devin was coming at Floyd during this buildup because of the shit like that, trying to stop the fight and all that. They was mad at like, what the fuck? What are you doing? Why are you trying to stop my bread? Why are you trying to not have him come over here? That's some less some lame shit. Bill was it Bill and Devin were expressing how much they pissed them off. And I think Floyd, like, okay, they mad. Let me come on here. After your son lose, I'm gonna come and give my analysis now. Cause Floyd don't do no shit like that. He knew what he was doing. Then they get on the, then they get on the, the call together. Bill is he can't express why he's pissed. Bill just pissed off because he know. You on here, now you giving fight analysis, now that my boy lost. What the fuck is going on? You mad that my boy called you out about that, that whole shit you was doing behind closed doors trying to take that fight from under him? You mad now? So now you want to give analysis and now you want to be, uh, show your boxing uh, prowess to the public so you can get more praise and my, my son can look like, because you know a lot of people like, yeah, Floyd, no, no, what he talking about, man? Devin ain't shit. It was giving more credence to people thinking Devin wasn't shit trying to give his little analysis or whatever, right? So then in the middle of their exchange, Floyd Mayweather say, do, do you, you need my help? You need my help? 
You need my help? And the, um, Bill said, we ain't, I ain't never needed you for shit. Now, that's a lie because he needed that family to go help his son build up his son who he, what he, to be what he is. He needed Floyd, Big Floyd Sr. And Floyd Jr. was showing him some stuff, too. He was working with him, too, in the gym coming up. But Big Floyd was the, the lead trainer, for sure, right? But Bill couldn't express why he said, why, you know, he was, he, Bill was just pissed off. He couldn't express what he truly felt. If I'm Bill Haney and you tell me, do you need my help? Now you want to train my son now? After the loss, now you want to publicly come out and train my son? Say you want to help me? Now you want to help me now? Come out and train my son? Now you want to help? Like, what the fuck? Like, I remember when he offered uh, Floyd, because Floyd got a way of doing some whole shit. And then Floyd, the, the, the greatest, Floyd got the greatest skill set I've ever fucking seen in my life. One of my favorite fighters growing up. But I remember when Deontay Wilder was coming up and he was knocking dudes out and he was star, his star power was growing after the Luis, Luis Ortiz fight. And here come Floyd in the build up between Devin, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Well, I'm making more money than all these people on TV. These heavyweights on TV, I'm making more money. I used to make more money than all of them. I used to make more money than all of them. Everybody like, what the fuck are you saying that for? Why are you trying to undermine Deontay Wilder and he's over there in the PBC? Why are you trying to shit on him and how you was making more? You know, he never offered to train Deontay Wilder until, Deont until, De until Deontay took a loss. He never offered to help him nothing until Deontay took a loss. Because it's like, okay, now that you didn't took a loss, now that the public see you not who I am, you not at, at risk of knocking my record off of 50-0, and 0, now I can come help you. And that's what, that, that's what Big Bill looking like. Now you want to help my son out after the loss? He felt like Floyd is disingenuous, and that's what it all is.